Hey guys, been a hell of a long time. Um, I know most of you guys that follow me, you've seen that little video I posted the other day of that buck I killed two years ago, the muley. Um, that was a neat hunt and I uh, didn't have no good footage of it or nothing. That was just all home phone footage stuff. Um, trapping season this year, I apologize. Um, and trust me, you guys are not frustrated more than I am. Um, Three of my major areas this year, um, I am literally the sole permit holder for those areas. And when I went and went to go do my final scout, they had been completely trapped out. Um, one place that typically will produce anywhere between 15 and 30 beavers for me per year, there was no beavers, none. All of them had been trapped out. Uh, so that's real nice, because that's a neat little chain system, probably gonna take up you know, 15, 20 years to get it back to where it was. So whoever did that, thanks, appreciate it. Um, I still have a couple of smaller farms, ranches type deals that I'm gonna do. Um, one of them's actually a pretty good size one. There'll be some canine out there, beaver, muskrat, um, otter. Just depends on how our winter goes up here with this El Nino thing going on. As you see behind me, there's zero snow on the ground. Um, typical year, we got plenty of snow already, but they're telling us that there's going to be very little snow this year. Um, but anyway, the whole purpose of this video was just to let you guys know that uh, I didn't fall off the face of the earth. Um, unfortunately, my trapping was brought to a complete screaming halt, and uh, I just haven't been doing much. Uh, I've been helping some other guys that I, I know, and uh, I'm just working. So... But this is uh, today's Sunday. I'll probably post this video today or tonight. And uh, the last weekend of general deer season here in Montana. And my son finally convinced me to get my ass out and, and let's go. So we went yesterday, um, posted a little short on that yesterday. Uh, we seen seven bucks total. Um, no, that was the day before with Hunter. We, we seen five bucks total yesterday. Um, I passed on three of them that I could have shot all day long, but I was looking for a big bodied deer. Um, I'm not a trophy hunter by no means. I, I have killed some really nice animals over the years, but I don't go out hunting horns. Um, so we went out yesterday, passed up some, went out today, and uh, as you're gonna see in the video, uh, the cards fell right and uh, we were successful. I ended up harvesting a really, really nice whitetail representative for our area um, big body not real heavy antlered but he was uh he was broke up um, my son killed a buck two days ago one of my other sons and he didn't have a single point on one side all he had was an eye guard and a main beam um, they're, so they're really brawling out there pretty good but anyway so we did get lucky i got some meat in the freezer uh, the wife would be happy about that because last year trapping completely consumed my entire year i never even looked at my rifle last year um, so anyway we're, i'm going to get some editing on that and uh you know we'll, we'll get it out to you and that's probably going to be the last video that i post for um oh i'd say probably a couple weeks anyway um if I, if I have stuff that comes up that I can get out, I'll, I'll definitely do that. But uh, it's going to be pretty slow here up until about the beginning of the year for me. But anyway, guys, I wasn't planning on doing a YouTube video on the hunt. Um, and even if I was, this all happened so stinking fast that we had never got camera on anything. Um, so after the shot, we pulled out the phones and uh, gave the buck a few minutes. I knew it was a solid hit. Um, I shoot a 6.5 Creedmoor. I know it's a bandwagon gun, but I tell you what, I've shot just about every caliber under the, under the roof. And um, to me, there is nothing that performs like that. Um, I can shoot anything from rabbits, if I don't want to keep them, up to a moose. I mean, if you think about it, the 6.5x5.5 five 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 Swedish was the first real major weapon ever designed in Sweden, I believe, for moose. Um, so it, it, it does it all. It's a fantastic caliber. Um, I shoot, I hunt with a, uh, a SIG cross platform. It's epic. Um, I've, I've killed bucks up to 900 with it. And as you'll, well, you won't see the actual shot in this video, but 
today that that buck that I I shot was probably 70 yards and just absolutely folded him so um, but other than that guys I appreciate you hanging out um, if you wouldn't mind like and subscribe I think that's the first time I've ever said that because it's always just tagged at the end of my videos um, but I appreciate it. it it's fun to see the channel grow and uh, you know the, the interactions that I have with a lot of you guys as far as comments and stuff like that it's a pretty cool deal I, I never thought it would be that way that's why I never did anything with it um, but anyway check out the video guys and I uh, hope you like it we'll see you soon Last day of the season. He's jumped out, so put a good stop on him and whopped him up, I believe. He is like. Is it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. That's awesome. Four by five. He was a five by four. Actually, <laughs> God damn it! Are you? Kicker there too. Nice. Nice. It's a hell of a last day buck. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a big body. Real big body. This is what I was looking for. It's a nice mature buck. Yep. So, nice bed. Weight good. Beautiful heart shot. Yep. Time to get to work, buddy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>